everyone another beautiful wallet handbag whatever you call a mini one and um, in the face and I'm using to cut down the template and the side of this interface and I wrote it in somewhere and now I don't remember the side of the interface is 13 inches wide long and 9 inches wide so I'm going to make the template using this interface and so I don't need to get the paper I'm going to fold it in half make sure everything lie up the two side in here you're gonna bring it in four in and a quarter just mark right there and then on the side down and in in a quarter one inch in a quarter and you go on to connect this one We're gonna hold it for in this, this side and then you go in to make sure side by side everything is even okay so from here you're gonna go and cut this part out you use this you keep this little interface in here because someday you needed it okay so now you have the center right there I'm just mark right at that point and then from the center out I'm going to bring it out an inch and a half an inch and a half and then I come down to one inch come down one inch And then from here, I'm going to round this. If you don't, if you can do this, you go and get the cup or the bowl or place it so you can cut that. When you cut, you're not going to hold a fold and cut. You're going to separate it, okay, like this. And then you're going to cut this out. I'm gonna put that on the side. I have the two fabric right here. This two right here, the side of this is seven inch and a quarter by nine inch and three four. So you're going to place the right side to the right side. Half an inch seam allowance, you're going to sew this together. I also have this one right here. This is two inch and half by 12 inch because I want it long so fold it in half this way and then the half you're gonna fold right into the center you don't need to iron yet wait until you do that again when it's thicker then you can iron it but this you can press this down and then on the other side you're going to do exact the same so fold this too okay and then this you go on to fold it together you go on to sew this line on the top and on the bottom so after i sew this line together and i sew this too i don't like to hear the sound of the people shovel the snow i just cannot take it i'm moving <laughs> here we go again <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't like the snow. Allergic. No medicine can help. Okay, so the interfacing that I cut the template go and iron on. So you go on to make sure you fold it in half. Okay. 
okay and then so from that half stay where you have the sole line now I am next in here So everyone, after I iron the interface and in here, I'm going to turn into this side and go place this on top of it. Right side to the right side. If you're using the different fabric, then you use the right side facing the right side like this. I want to leave on top here about three inches open. So it's right here, everyone. Leave it open. So you're going to follow interfacing and so follow this line and so all around go to here go all in the back go down to all the way to here and stop so everyone after I sew around I left it here about three inches open You go into the corner like this and then cut just a bit, okay? Don't cut too much. I have the bin that I keep all my little fabric and then I make the pillow the other day. All right, so now go ahead and inside out this whole thing. I have to look for my chopstick. Oh my goodness, my kid think that I'm eating or something and then every time they see the chopstick on the table, they brought it down, they wash it off. Okay, so everyone, after I inside out and everything, I'm gonna go and iron all around. I told my sister I want to eat certain food in the new year and she's like, in the new year you cannot eat that. I say, well let's make that one too, the other one. And then she's like, oh no, not that one. I'm like, what I am going to eat? It's like, the new year you cannot eat that. That's gonna bring bad luck. I'm like, oh my god. What if I don't eat and go the whole year? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be starving. Come on. Certain thing that you don't, you don't eat on color, you don't wear, and certain thing you cannot say. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know. That day I just sleep. I go to sleep. And then they're gonna say you're gonna sleep all year. But whatever the new year you do, the whole year gonna be like that. Oh my goodness. I don't understand. Anyway, right. too much talking, right? You can see that the line right here, the line right here, and there. You go on to draw the line. So you go on to sew. I only show you like how to sew something because, more, see, I draw the line right there, and then the line here. Because most of you here are expert. I am not a professional and I'm not a seamstress. I'm just give you an idea. But for so and I think most of you here are more advanced than I am. So okay. Now you can see the rectangle that I draw the line right there with the pencil. You go ahead and sew. So this, so this. Okay. Everyone, after I um, sew the line right there, you can see the rectangle. I'm going to fold this one in half 
so I can mark the center. I only mark the center where this line right here, okay? On the right on the top of the rectangle line right there. That way I sew. And then from there, from this down, you can see. Hey, let me zoom it in, you can see. Okay, so you can see the rectangle. And when I fold it in half, the center right there, and the, from the center down, I'm going to mark. And I'm going to add the loop in there. So you're going to place the loop this way. And then you're going to place it right there where I just marked. So I'm going to pin this down. Go ahead and sew. When you're done sewing this, go on to flip it this way. Go up like this. You go up like this, you go on to sew one more time right here. Okay, and so now this is what it looks like everyone after that. You go ahead and top stitch all around the side here, everywhere. Top stitch. So everyone after you top stitch all around, this is the right side. I'm going to use the right side facing in. And now you can see this two on the right side. And then this is the left. And this is the bottom of the back. I'm going to bring this up. You can see this right here. You're going to fold it in like this. You're going to sew this like. Yeah. Okay. The little piece right here, sew that in here. When you sew, make sure you follow the, the top stitch that you did earlier. Now I sew this side in, okay? And now you can see, oh my God, we are growing. I didn't think I'd take this long. All right, so now on this side right here, you're gonna go on the side of this one. Right here and moving all the way up like this. You come into here, if you do it by yourself, you can clip it all together and then you sew, okay? So now you're going to follow that and so all the way up to here that it for one side and let me show you the other side so when you do that by yourself you can do this okay you're gonna bring this up to here like this and then you go on to clip it together right here okay and then you sew and then you go on to do this turn it around make sure it's right at the corner on the side that's where you don't need to come in out and in like I did I'll show you. When I show you, I have to do that. But when you do for yourself, you go on to do one. Put it together on the side right here, sew it up, and then turn around and sew it all the way up here. So now after I done sewing this all around here, now you have an idea. I'll go from here and then go up to here. Now go ahead and inside out. Very cute. So I come up with this everyone. If you see someone doing this, this is my idea. And so you're going to fold it like this. You mark the center right here. And about half an inch away from that pointy right there. Down that one button. And then you press this down so that hole will help you make another line for the button. So go. And then from here in the back, you can put the duct tape or you can put the another interfacing and iron on it with some design so it don't look too too crazy you know like some design oh my god my my heart look like a butt all right now look like a heart it look nicer 
and it go in the back here I go in the back and I'm just eyeing this in here just to cover that I got this thing at um, Hoppy Loppy the other day the whole thing like that with all kind of here thing in here I'm gonna take one and I'm going to use this for this bag so when I take one out, it is so pretty. You know what? You can use this for earring too. Just add the earring hook on it and then you're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, sew this into here. Just right in the middle of this. Like right there under. This ribbon right here, I got it online and it comes with all different colors. Look at this. So beautiful. I look on the side and look the back. Very pretty. The Take the I make um the wallet the other day. I can just place it in here. It stay right in, and then the phone. You need the phone, or you going to die. So you put everything in here. The snap button, what I like, it just snap right in like that. The magnet, and there you go. Look at that, everyone. How beautiful! It's night time, so you can see a little light there. I was really busy, and. That's it. We're finished. Stay safe and take care. I hope you make this. You're going to love this. If you want to use the other kind of button, you don't need to add the flower in here. Just the two, the two snap button, one on each side, and then snap it down. You're done. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please stay safe and take care.